Hey there, my name's Gareth. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the new features and enhancements in Revit 2022 and how they work. Let's get to this. Slanted walls have been enhanced for Revit 2022. We can now edit the profile of any slanted wall. This allows users to modify the sketch boundaries along the work plane. Let's take a look at how it works. As you'll see with the wall on the screen, it's already tapered and the profile has been cut. Let's look at one that needs to be updated. As you can see on the screen, the wall already has a slant applied to it of 10 degrees and the profile has been cut. Let's have a look how we do this. As you'll see in this wall, if I select the wall itself and go into the properties, it's currently set to vertical. If I click on the vertical, I can change it to slanted. You'll notice we have the option to change the angle. The angle is currently set to zero. If I change this angle, you'll see we get a little message on the screen. We need to disable the analytical model first. Let's do that. Now you'll see that the angle has changed. We've now put a slope into that wall. I can now simply select the wall and from the ribbon, you'll see I can select the edit profile. It gives me the option to now change that profile shape to whatever shape I want. In this case, I'm going to draw a line from here to here and then trim it back. And you'll see once this is done, click on my green tick, my wall profile has now changed. It's as simple as that. Tapered walls is a new feature for Revit 2022. We can change any wall to a tapered wall representation by changing the cross-sectional parameter to tapered. This will update the sloping angles using the instant overrides or the wall temporary dimensions. Let's take a look. On screen, you will notice that the wall on the right hand side here has already been tapered. I wish to do this to my other wall here on the left hand side of the screen. I can simply select the wall and going into the properties window, under the cross sectional, select from the drop down list and choose tapered. You will notice we have some other options to choose from. One thing to note, if I try to do something now, you'll notice it's, it's telling me I need to disable the analytical model. Also, under the edit type in the properties window, selecting the structure I need to make sure the variable is turned on. This will allow me to change the cross-sectional to the tapered. I can simply do this in here by overriding the properties and I can change the angle for either the external or the internal angle of the wall. Here you notice I've changed in the external. If I hit apply, you'll notice the wall will move out externally. If I do the same for the inter internal, you'll notice it changes the internal. So we can do either or both. Autodesk have now included category sorting improvements by alphabetical order in schedule properties and material properties under the filters area. Let's take a look. It has now become easier to assign filters in your Revit schedules as it now sorts in alphabetical order. The Load Family tool was previously a technology preview and now has become part of Revit 2022, allowing users to access content from a cloud-based repository. Let's take a look. We can select the Load Family tool from the Insert tab just here. Once open, we can search by the category and select in the list here. Or we can simply go and select through the browse and select the category we like. And the third option is we can use the search facility here to type in the category or the type we're looking for. And you can see it will bring up a list. We can then simply select it and click load. The family will now be loaded into the project. We can simply go to insert the family and you will see it now appears in the list. 
Now in Revit 2022, many of the dialog boxes which were previously fixed in size, users are able to resize them, making it easier to view the information. Let's take a quick look. If we go into Revit and select from the Manage tab, Transfer Project Standards, you will now see that the dialog box window has a grip at the bottom right hand side. This allows us to make the dialog box smaller or bigger. This enhancement is available for other dialog boxes such as Purge Unused, Warnings and many others. Thank you.